Hello traders, Ed Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this video. I'll try to keep it as short as possible, maybe 20, 30 minutes, uh, just to really cover some of the trades from this morning's live trading session. Actually, this morning my time, but it was uh, the afternoon of the New York session, uh, leading into what I call the New York close, uh, a trading room that I run for members. So in today's session, I had uh, four four uh, winners for three break even. I'm gonna go through those with you and what I cover here traders, you can trade any market using the exact same strategies and techniques, whether it be uh, futures, Forex or stocks. Now there is a risk in trading. I do need to pull up the disclaimer. Uh, please feel free to pause the video uh, to read the disclaimer. The bottom line is traders, don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose. Even more importantly, get the right education, trade on the simulator until we get your trading right. You've got to really treat this as a 60 to 90 day internship before you even consider going live. Now, if you haven't already, please uh, click on the link below to download uh, my training manual. Uh, it's free and uh, to find out more about my trading style. Now traders, very quickly, I'm a modeler. I've been doing this now for over 27 years and I look at trading systems and strategies and I, what I call, reverse engineer them. So the reason that's important to you, if there's something better, I'll tell you about it. I've been in a position where as a researcher, I've employed full-time traders, uh, researchers, um, uh, programmers, you name it, I probably know about it or I've invested in it. So what that means to you is I can save you years and years of research development and most importantly time and money. And so as a researcher, I've got dozens of these notebooks of trading systems. Now, before you turn off traders, this is critical. If you're serious about an income, part-time or full-time, stay to the end because I'm gonna show you how I trade. Now, very important here, and this really gets back to the fundamental basis of what I do, success leaves clues. And that is, I model the best of the best. I wanna find out what they're doing and how they're doing it. And the great thing is also, uh, you know, some of the best trading systems and strategies. Uh, the indicators are free. Now I've coded a lot of indicators, which um, you'll see a couple on my screen. And by the way, I give them to my members free of charge, but others charge thousands of dollars for these. But let me tell you that most indicators that I see are really just, um, what can we say, rebadged or maybe with custom settings. So, what does the 27 years in the trading industry mean to you? If there's a better way, I would tell you about it. So I'll save you years and years and a small fortune on the way. And what I actually say to traders, save the money for your trading account. So very quickly, uh, actually one more slide before we get to that. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the micro NQ. Now, before you uh, uh, laugh at the NQ or the micro, it's just a brilliant way of getting your trading underway, which I'll show you in a moment. So stick around because you're gonna really see and learn the ins and outs and really the, the, the must do's and the not do's when it comes to trading. Now, before I know that some of you may have to leave before it's finished, but once again, everything that I show you here, all of my indicators, uh, over 30 PowerPoints, there's dozens of training videos, all is only for $197. And I'll tell you more about that at the end and why it's only $197. I wanna be your full-time coach, but I'll point that out in a moment. Now, as we now are about to go to the charts in a moment and look at today's trading session, don't knock the micros. And what I mean by that, if you're a brand new trader, this is a great spot to start. Even if you've got five, 10, 50, $100,000, start by trading a micro and build from there. Now I mentioned that today's session was from the New York, what I call the close, the afternoon session. Now for that, we trade the 16 tick micro and it's just a brilliant way of teaching new members how to trade. 
Now to do that safely, and when I say safely, to never ever risk any more than 2% of your account, you need $1,400 in your account to do that. And of course you can trade with a smaller account, you can trade other micros, etc. but that's what I recommend. And I'm very, very much about proper money management. Even if you've got ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, start with a micro, earn your stripes. Now, if you go for $70 a day per contract, uh, I'll show you we're up over 100 per contract today. Uh, look down here, this is the true potential. By adding every time you earn $1,400, you add an additional contract. That is, you compound only when you double your money you've got the potential of getting up there at $10,000 a week within 17 weeks. That is the reality of this. I'm gonna show you how to do this, but you've got to earn your stripes. I've already mentioned, you've got to put the effort in. Trade is the only place in the work where success comes before work is in the dictionary as far as I know. And this ain't rocket science, but you've got to put the effort in. Now. This spreadsheet, by the way, I provide to uh, all of my members. There's one other I wanna show you here. That is, we trade the ES, we trade the NQ, the NASDAQ, oil. Uh, I love the currency futures. Um, and as I mentioned, the, the setups work on any market. But what's important here is the money management. So I mentioned that we're gonna be trading or looking at how I traded today, the 16 tick uh, micro NQ. Now, following the 2% rule, you only require really 1250. You may have noticed I said 1400, just to give yourself a bit of a buffer. Now, you can trade smaller time frames. Uh, however, you don't want the market to be moving. You want it too fast. You want it to be tradable. The higher the time frame, the easier it is. And once again, all of these are tools that I provide my members with. So don't mock the micro. So this was in less than an hour of trading on one contract. Now less commissions, uh, different brokers, so the um, uh, will charge anywhere from a uh, dollar five up to three dollars for a micro. The micros are great to build, and once you actually build your account, you then consider, for example, here down here, you'd be, it says you'd be trading 45, 50 contracts. Now mind you, that's 20 grand a week, basically earning. But seriously, uh, the micros are 10% of the size. So that's when you'd probably be trading six big contracts rather than 50 odd micros. The commissions are lower overall. But as I mentioned, it's a great spot to start. Now also what's really important here is I'm gonna be showing you a couple of different types of trades that I took today is that, uh, if you're a brand new trader, or if trading hasn't been kind to you, I want you to start with one style of trading, and that is trend trading only. Now, Mark Douglas in the great book, unfortunately passed away far too young, one of the greatest books there is on trading, The Disciplined Trader. As he says here, what I want, what I, he recommends you do, become an expert at just one particular pattern that repeats itself. Choose a simple system that identifies a pattern, one that is, in mechan that is mechanical. So basically, as you're about to see in a moment, the strategies that I teach are probably 95% mechanical. There is a variance because you still need to identify, do I have a trend or is it reversing? But this is a skill set that you learn. It's not difficult. What you've got to do, I can give you everything but one thing, and it's called screen time. Now initially, even though I'm gonna show you a couple of counter trend trades, I want you to trade with the trend. Once you master that, you can add another strategy. So you start with one strategy where you own it, you master it, you may even choose to never trade anything else. For example, you're gonna see what we call the 2B, an extremely high probability strategy. But then you'll get your counter trend trades, which I do love, but I've been doing this a long time time. So let's go to the charts traders and start from there. So let me pull this up here. Here we go. So as I mentioned, uh, this is a 16 tick 
Renko chart. Now you can trade the strategies that I teach. It doesn't matter what you trade, whether it be tick, uh, you might uh, like your, your hard charts, which is um, basically uh, Heiken and Ashi charts. If you like those, you might like time-based charts, uh, tick. Uh, my favorite really, Renko, tick and range charts, then maybe Heiken and Ashi. So there's a range of different charts, um, uh, types that you can use. Now, uh, as we led into the lunchtime session uh, today, um, and so I won't even mention the date because it's not really doesn't matter because we see the same sort of action every day. What's important for day traders is that we trade a market that trends well. That's really what we're looking for. Now, I actually use a strategy of, of uh, whoops, and let me perhaps minimize this one because it's hiding the other charts. Here we go. I use a combination of what I call an entry chart, an anchor chart one and anchor chart two. Now, initially, you'd start off with your anchor chart, your entry chart, my apologies, and then an anchor chart one. We want to be trading in the direction of the higher time frame. That truly is one of the greatest secrets of my success and the success of my traders is that on an entry chart or a standard day trading chart, there's a lot of what we call noise on that chart where the higher the time frame, the more reliable the signals become. Now, whilst we're down here on this anchor chart, I want to also point this out. See that level there and that level there, they're called pivot levels. Now, I know many of you know what pivots are, but you can see we bounced off the uh, R2 midline. We bounced off there again, and you can see divergence. Now, they are what we call um, uh, 2Ds. You'll find we've got divergence on multiple time frames. Now, traders, some of the things, if you're brand new to trading that I talk about, may initially go over your head, but it isn't rocket science, and you will pick it up uh, and that's really my job as your coach is to break it down and simplify it. Now let's just get back um, uh, to the charts and we'll just get straight into the trades that I took today and also a couple that I didn't take. A couple of them were by accident because I wasn't focused at the time. But these are all what we call two and three Bs, which are really some of the most reliable trades you will ever do. Generally, they're an 80 to 85% uh, win-loss ratio, and you can see they move they move beautifully. Now, remember here that uh, I should have mentioned it. See these steps? We call them steps, each step down. Now, on a 16 tick, uh, if you're trading the big contract, each one of those steps is worth $40. On a micro, each one of these steps is worth $4. Now, I love uh, trading multiple contracts, going for five steps on a first contract and uh, or the first lot of contracts on the second lot going for seven. You may choose to what we call trail, but that's a bit beyond today's webinar. Now, as we then come down here, we have what we call a 2D. Now, a 2D is where I've got a double divergence and See that line there? It's also a pivot bounce. There are certain mechanical areas, or, or can I say, there are certain, let me take that back. There are certain leading indicators that um, uh, just work brilliantly, such as pivots, the open, high, low, and close of a day. If you're trading oil, there are certain round numbers where price bounces off them day in, day out. They become very, very reliable. Now, most indicators are what we call derivatives of price, as pivots are, but they're predictive because so many traders trade them. And you can see here, we trade straight into a pivot. Now, let's start to go through the seven trades that I took today. The first one here is what we call a 2BD. That was straight after major divergence. And because it was a 2BD, I went to break even very, very quickly. In fact, it then turned into a, what we call a pivot bounce. I got out, picked up three or four ticks, covered um, uh, my commissions. Now, 2BDs, many of the um, newer traders, I recommend you consider not even taking those initially. Look, there's still a great trade, but sometimes you need to be aware you'll get this reversal. 
but then we get a standard uh, 2B sets up straight after. See that divergence you already ha or also had and look over at your anchor chart just there. Okay, and actually what I'll do for today's session, I'll just, just really stick to the entry chart, but we had um, uh, double divergence, another beautiful, that was a seven step trade right there and then. Now, what I do in the live room, I trade only one or two contracts just because I'm talking and sometimes as you'll see, <laughs> I even miss trades because I am talking and coaching. Uh, but usually in the uh, London session, I trade two contracts where I'm taking one off at five steps and one off at seven. Here I'm taking one off at seven, which means what I'm ultimately after traders on this market is $70 per contract or 700 on the big contract. But anyway, uh, that was a break even. We then had a beautiful 2B, thank you very much, down we came. Now, uh, then we had uh, what I call a 1DA, just a small divergence trade, but then it turned into what we call a 3D, which is the best of the best divergence trades you can take. Very mechanical, but remembering with divergence in a strong downtrend, you can still get stopped. This is why I recommend start trading uh, trend trades. One, two, three, four, five. Now, yes, this is an exceptional downtrend in this part. And we'll get to a, a dicey spot soon. And, and because anyone can show you a great trend and say, look how great I am. But what, what makes the difference is, of course, what we do when we have a choppy market. So anyway, I then took this trade here. Now, this is also a 2BD. And I got out pretty much with only three or four ticks because it started to reverse. It was a 2BD. A slightly lower probability and I got out but then I jumped back in again it started to reverse it turned into another uh, 2BD I won't go into these other other trades it set up uh, and then thank you very much we got our full seven steps and it turned into a pivot bounce a couple of other little potential trades we could have uh, taken here is another 3D that I jumped in now um, up here, uh, where is it? Just there, I didn't have time to jump in. I was doing something and it, and I actually missed both of them. No, no, I got in on that one, sorry. Got in on that one, I missed this one. Uh, but I got in on that one, oh, that's right. I got in a little bit late on that one. Uh, don't blink, stay focused. Uh, that's why I said end here. So I got, I missed that one, but anyway. I had this one and we're in a very strong downtrend as you can see. So this turned into, and members, you know why we call this space, it's almost a bet the farm. It's got to pull back a bit deeper, but uh, a bet the farm is a bit of a tongue in cheek trade. It's a setup we have when we've got a double top with divergence with the trend. But anyway, I jumped out of that one to break even once again with divergence trades or counter trend trades. Uh, I, I won't give them much leeway. That is, if they don't keep moving, I will get to break even and exit the trade. So anyway, that turned into a trade. I missed that one, or well, didn't take that one, I should say. Uh, then I jumped in on this 2BD. Now, uh, no, I didn't, sorry, it's a 2BD. I didn't take that one. I'm looking at this. Uh, I entered on this one here. That's right. So I took uh, this one here. Now, this basically, and see this, um, a hot pink, this is the prior day's low. So at the prior day's low, ended up as good as a double bottom here. So I entered this trade up here now, my stop loss, and very important, where do I put my stop? Well, on the NQ or the micro NQ, I like to have my stop two ticks below or two ticks above, unless, the market has moved too quickly or too far, then I'll just leave my standard stop as I've got on my uh, dome. Now, here, I put in here, and this is when we sort of went live, we were live with the room, and I typed in for the members, the risk of counter trend trading. It came down, and as you can see, it missed me by about four ticks. So I was a fair way away. And so I stayed with the trade and up here we got filled uh, for a full 
seven steps. Okay, now, um, but what I've got there, the risk of counter trend trading. So if you look at then how reliable your counter trend trade, sorry, your, let me Freudian slip, your with trend trades have been and how much challenging the counter trend trades have been. Okay, so this is why I recommend to every new member, master two setups, the 2B and the 34Bs, and then you may choose to counter trend trade or learn it or not. Now I love CT trading, but once again, I've been doing it a long time and I won't let it get past my stop here. Two ticks and I typed in the risk. I was actually quite at that stage thinking I was going to get stopped, but we had a full fill. Now then we rallied up and then we had a nice 2B and I'm coaching here. We didn't take that 2B there, we didn't want to take. Um, now this is the danger zone in this zone here. Note here we're starting to chop around at this stage. Now when we have these reversals, and let me show you on the anchor chart too. Uh, see on the anchor chart here, we're starting to level out. Our moving averages are starting to level. Okay, what we really want to see traders is a fanning of the EMAs. And a fanning of the EMAs means we want to see our moving averages trending. And when you've got these zones, see how flat they are, see down here, see that white line, that is also the prior day's close. And once again, all of uh, these indicators, if you trade with NT8 uh, are included free. If you trade with TradeStation, I've got virtually everything here. I don't have the open, high, low and close, but that comes standard anyway. But basically um, uh, everything you uh, see here, um, except for the, the floor pivots, you can use the standard floor pivots on uh, basically any trading platform. Now, uh, and I just mentioned, if you trade with a platform other than um, uh, NT8, you might trade with Think or Swim or MT4. I either have got indicators or trade of eight, or I've got the settings for you on most of the things that I do. You might have to do a little bit of research uh, if there's something different that for a trading platform that I don't have standard, but anyway. This then turns into another 2B. I didn't take this one. So I said to the members, look, it still could chop around. We then took off uh, um, that then, where do the T3 set up? I then had what we call a T3. Uh, here it is up here. Uh, now, oh, sorry, that was actually a T3. So for members that are watching this, as I know a lot of you, you can see that it was a perfect T3. Now, a T3, by the way, traders, is where you get a major move in the market like this. And that was over five minutes, by the way. So it, it doesn't mean it happened like for news. That was a five minute move, but it's what we call a reversion to the mean trade. And you can see here we're bouncing off the pivot and it worked out uh, that would have been a beautiful trade uh, to trade, uh, to take, let me say that. So uh, as I explained to the members, it is a counter trend trade, but traded correctly and there's some very mechanical rules in a distance from there to there uh, that we, we have to follow. But anyway, a little further along here, I then had uh, a T12 uh, and a 2D set up and a T7. Now, what that simply means is, see how we bounced off a pivot, bounced off a pivot, I had divergence, we were bouncing off a 200 EMA. These are fantastic quality trades and you can then see we had divergence and we come down and hit the target spot on. Now, what I want you to, well, a few ticks after that. Um, what I want you to notice here, traders, is that we use a specific number of EMAs because they work, okay? So the, the, we use a combination of EMAs because what I've discovered from some of the world's greatest traders is these, from Marty Swartz, from Richard Dennis, uh, from you know, many, many others. There are just a, a combination of moving averages that just work an absolute treat when you're trading. Now, there's one other little secret that I have also, is that, and we had a 2BD there, that, that was another 2B, and that is the time frames that I use. 
And that is when I trade, I've got, as I mentioned, three time frames: an entry chart, anchor chart one, and anchor chart two. There is a, I've discovered a, a, a time frame sequence for whether you trade Renko or Har charts or range. There's one set that we multiply to get the time frames that we use. And then there's another set of time frames if you're trading, say, tick charts or volume charts or time based charts. And what they do is they give us multiple EMA bounces, which work an absolute treat. Now, on these magic levels, and I don't want to call them, they're not really magic, but see this here. Once again, the prior day's high. Here, we're bouncing off the pivot. Okay, uh, sideways action again. Now this is where, now see that that uh, little blue line there? That was the prior day's open. So there are certain levels, and here we are back at the pivot, that when we trade these levels, um, along with our entries and the white paint bar there, you can see we call that the super scalper. Uh, they, they increase the probability of a successful trade uh, dramatically. Now, look at this here and look over at your anchor chart. This is a no trade zone. See how our moving averages are trending sideways. So traders, the end result today was uh, within uh, an hour, we we're up, worked out to be well over our $70 a day. And, and that's another question that comes up regularly, is when do you stop trading? Look, once you hit your, say if you, your daily target $70, in fact, you need to allow for your down days. So you're probably gonna go for, an, uh, for probably a 90 to $100 day, okay? Then what you need to be aware of is that if you hit what we call the sweet spot, the sweet spot is where you have three time frames trending together. That is, you've got your entry chart, which is your blue chart. Maybe you're even, uh, sorry, your anchor chart one, anchor chart two, both trending. Then we've got our entry chart, which is this little red line. We're looking for a pullback. So this isn't rocket science. These strategies have been around for years and years, okay? But they work. Everyone wants to try to say that, um, you know, they've reinvented the wheel. Well, be, beware of the man that tells you he's manufacturing antiques, okay? I think it was Gann that famously said, there's nothing new under the sun. And let me tell you, traders, after 27 plus years, I can tell you, I look, I can't remember the time I saw something new. So in closing, come and join me. I want to teach you how to day trade. And what I'm offering you here is for $197, you get my entire program. I'll quickly show you what it is. Plus you can join my live sessions. That is, as a bonus, I'll give you eight live two hour group coaching sessions. So twice a week, I run live sessions. Yes, I've got my live trading rooms as well. But here, this is where you want to basically get the foundation. Now that's $197 for one month of coaching, my entire program. Uh, it includes all of uh, my indicators. As my members would say, I'm not gonna go into a heap of testimonials here because you know what? I see people putting up testos every day. You can look at my website. I've got hundreds of them, all right? But the bottom line is traders, $197, you get my entire program. Uh, why only 197? Well, I want you as a long-term coaching client. That is, I wanna train you and teach you how to day trade. At the end of a month, if I dazzle you, you're probably gonna want more. And that is the greatest traders, the greatest business people, the greatest sports people all have coaches. I wanna coach you ongoing. Now, after your eight free sessions, if you like what you see, you then have the option of joining my ongoing coaching for 197 a month, cancel any time. So what I'm doing here, I'm giving you one month of coaching, my entire program, and let me just quickly show you this here. My entire program includes the Excel spreadsheets that I've shown you, um, uh, 
it's a whole lot more than that actually. Uh, there's things like here, profit calculators, how many trades a day with your win-loss ratios. All of these are critical in designing, which I do with you, your trading plan. Now what you also get uh, here is, I have over 15 different strategies, high probability strategies, but you only start with two. Two that are close, very closely related to each other, trend following. Once you learn those and you are consistently profitable as a trend trader, you may choose to start trading some of these other setups. That's entirely up to you. On my Google Drive, uh, which you have a lifetime license to, there are literally hundreds of handouts. There are dozens of PowerPoints. You receive over 30 PowerPoints. Now, if you wanna keep it simple, all you do is trade the 2B. Forget everything else initially. But what I've discovered is that most traders, and I recommend you become what we call a student of the market. That is, you've got to really study the uh, the setups, but I give you PowerPoints, there's dozens of handouts, there's um, over, and don't have a heart attack, but there's over 250 videos, there's probably over 300 now. And no, you don't have to watch them all, okay? I teach you in my coaching classes what you really need initially, which is only the 2B and the 34B. You start from there. Well, one of the questions may have, well, why have so many setups? Because I have so many professional traders. And like you saw, I take counter trend trades. And once you become good at them, as much as they're not an 80 to 90% setup, you can do really well with your CT trades, plus they're great for identifying market turns. When you're good at identifying market turns, that is when you can go for your larger targets, when you've got the start of a new trend. But that's something you can do later on. If you wanna join, please uh, click on the link below where you're watching this on YouTube, $197. Uh, this is the last program you will ever need to invest in. So traders, hopefully I'll see you in one of my coaching programs or one of my coaching classes. Let me say that. Thanks traders. See you in the next video or see you in the coaching class.